Well, good morning, guys. Today is the 19th of June, 2020. We're here in Hendersonville, Tennessee today, this morning, at uh, 84 Lumber. Picked up this load in Birmingham, or Alabama, just yesterday. We could have gotten it off probably yesterday afternoon, but again, I'm just pacing myself this week, taking my time. So right now, we're sitting in line waiting to get unloaded. I got here about, parked up about 6.15 last night, yesterday afternoon. They, they were closed by then. Had two trucks already here, waiting to get unloaded ahead of me. And as you can see, we got a line of trucks behind me already too. Folks are hurting for their lumber, looks like, during this pandemic. So we're just gonna have to sit here and wait our turn until the loader gets busy over here, out here. Uh, so it looks like it's kind of a nice day. It's a little bit overcast right now, but um, it might break up later on. Our next load, we got to run down to Athens, Alabama. This is about 112 miles, something like that. I'll pick up a load of no tarp lumber and run it up to a town called Paintsville, Kentucky, uh, to the Lowe's store up there. Now that one, they must be hurting on their lumber because they're paying awful good rates on that one. I couldn't help it pass. I couldn't help passing it up. I uh, I couldn't help but doing it. I, you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, it was a good load. It put me out. I got to deliver Saturday morning up there. Normally, I like to be home on the weekends, but the load's paying so well that I can run it out to Paintsville, Kentucky, and deadhead back to the house Saturday morning after I get off loaded and still have a pretty decent week this week. So let's just uh, wait our turn here and get off loaded. Hey, we're here in Athens, Alabama right now. We've been here for a little while now, waiting to get loaded. The guys are getting the deck, the deck of the trailer loaded right now. While we're getting, while we're waiting, I'd just like to talk for a moment about something. Uh, I was talking to another driver this morning. I thought I'd reiterate this point on my channel that, uh, you know, all the protests that we've seen around the country and people, you know, riots and looters and people burning and it seems like everybody's got an opinion and everybody wants, wants to get irate about things. Personally, I think it's best if people keep most of their opinions to themselves. Uh, the Bible talks about this and says, uh, I think I believe Solomon talked about this in the Bible, that uh, rather to be silent and consider wise than to open your mouth and be proven a fool. I think those are powerful words. It's too easy to get upset and to get irate and to rant and rave. Well, you have to ask yourselves, where is that coming from? Is that coming from God or is that coming from the devil? Uh, personally, I think most of the time that is of the devil. So we hear about all these riots and you think to yourselves, you know, what do you, what do you say to somebody that is just carrying on about stuff? Do you lay into them or you, do you just listen to what they have to say or do you, or do you try and react to them? I always have to go back to what my mother always told me when I was growing up. When I was younger, it wasn't too easy to accept at times because I always wanted to, to fight back. But mom always said that a kind word turns away wrath. Perhaps that's what we need in our society right now is more people uh, offering words of kindness rather than words of wrath. That's all I have to say about that right now. Well, the guys are going to have us loaded here shortly, and I'm going to get out there and get the load strapped down and start heading on up towards Paintsville, Kentucky. But for now, I'm going to leave y'all be. Well, guys, we had us a good run up, up to Paintsville. Uh, it was a nice uh, road. I actually have never driven that stretch of road there on Hal Rogers uh, Parkway from London, Kentucky over towards... Uh, US 23 that goes up to Paintsville. And it's a fair amount of hills, uh, but it was a nice, it was a nice run. Enjoyed it. So I got in last night about 10 o'clock 
well, 11 o'clock local time. Got parked up. I uh, lay, lay there watching Netflix on my phone for a little while. And then the guys got in this morning and we got offloaded. So my instead of deadheading home this weekend, 275 miles back to the house, I opted instead uh, to book another low, which I found yesterday afternoon late. Uh, the low picks up in Wortland, Kentucky, about 70 miles from Paintsville. Trouble is it doesn't pick up until Monday morning. So it's now Saturday morning, the 20th of June, and I opted instead of just sleeping in the truck, uh, you know, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday night. Instead, uh, what I like to do is get me a motel room. So that's what I've done. I drove up here to Grayson, Kentucky, not too far from Wortland, at the State of the Super 8 Motel. So we're just gonna take it easy for the rest of the weekend right here at the motel and then get up Monday morning early and run up the street to Wortland and pick up my load. It's a beautiful day out here too. Hardly a cloud in the sky. I wish I was home actually. But my honey, my darling, my sweetie pie, my girlfriend, Donnell, she's on the road too this weekend. So she's driving her truck. She picked up a load down in Gulfport, Mississippi uh, yesterday going up to Richmond, Virginia. So I told her, I said, out of solidarity to her, I'm gonna stay on the road this weekend also. So guys, I appreciate y'all watching this, this uh, video and uh, if you would hit the subscribe button down there if you want, if you want if you haven't subscribed already uh, drop a comment uh, hit the like button and uh, stay tuned to another episode of Tennessee Trucker.